Hello everybody, Izzy Writerish here, and today we have a brand new series happening. So I don't know if you all have heard of this before, but I have been asked to join a server called Breaking Minecraft, previously known as Breaking Bedrock, created by the wonderful Spoon Muppet, I believe. And this is a technical server. We are trying to do the craziest things that you've seen in Minecraft Bedrock, and that's our whole goal here. So we're just trying to do everything at the most insane levels possible. So this series is going to be far more of a redstone series. Um, I'm going to be doing crazy, crazy things in survival of Minecraft. And we're actually just about to hop into a call with Spoon Muppet in just a second. He's going to give us some stuff to get started because they have already had some time to start on the realm. Unfortunately, I've been kind of sick lately, but uh, things are looking better now. So he's going to give me some stuff to get started. So uh, basically, yeah, I'm going to continue my berry craft series, although that one's going to be more dedicated towards building now. So we're going to have this series as like a redstone series, and then we're going to have berry craft as more of like a building and focusing on aesthetics and new build style series. And don't worry, more berry craft is coming soon. I'm not giving up on that. But let's go ahead and hop into that call with Spoon Muppet right now. So Spoon Muppet just dropped by. And as you can see in my inventory, there is some special things there. So they've already done a lot on the server. Like I said before, I've kind of been sick. I've been having some heart issues. So unfortunately I haven't been able to play much, but that's all going to change right now. And as you can maybe see up there, I already have some pretty advanced gear. Um, so we have our diamond helmet, elytra, diamond leggings and diamond boots. And we have a diamond pick and a diamond shovel and a diamond sword. So we are all good to go. Um, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that early game progression because this part of this series is literally just us trying to be as crazy with the game as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and we are actually going to pull up a seed generator to kind of look at where do we want our base to be? Because I have some crazy plans for this base. There's gonna be a lot of live streams that help me build this base and I am so looking forward to it. All right, so I've gone ahead and pulled up the chunk base seed finder thing. I have gone ahead and obscured the seed because I do not know if we're having this public or private yet. So what we have here is an overview of the seed. So this area right here, this is where we spawned in at. So like 2000 by about zero ish. Um, and then I was personally looking to build near a jungle area just because of some of my plants for the base, which we'll go into later. So if we go ahead and I've already put that in, filter the biomes. I also have deserts up there because I'm planning on collecting lots of sandstone. So if we look at this jungle area right here, it's relatively close and there are lots of deserts nearby. So we have lots of that possibility to collect sandstone. And then another thing I did is, so let's go ahead and move this into the center of our screen area, just right about there is I also want to look for ocean monuments. So in my next tab over, I have pulled up. So we have this ocean monument right here, which is about a thousand by 300 ish blocks away, which is just perfect and super duper close. And we could do lots of fun stuff with that. So I think that's where we are going to have our base. And I'm going to go make that announcement in the breaking Minecraft discord. So before we head off to that base location, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some crops from our little community area right over here. Uh, it's kind of a strange place and it's really cool. I'm vibing with the aesthetic that we have going on here. It's just like crazy. Let's build whatever comes to our minds. So I'm going to go ahead and just like get some of the resources here, get a full stack of sugar cane. Looks like our realm is lagging out a bit. We are eventually going to move to a dedicated server. It's just, we do not, we've been having some issues with that recently. So we haven't been able to do that quite yet, but we will be doing that very, very soon. So I'm going to go ahead, just collect some of the resources we have here. And then we are going to make our way all the way, all 3000 blocks to our base. And Spoon Muppet is there wishing us good luck. Let's say thank you much. All right. And I'm going to go ahead, finish collecting those resources and we will be on our way. Well, we're almost at my base and I cannot believe what just happened. I had gotten two bones from when I have just been wandering around the place, uh, killing mobs because nighttime happens. I had two bones. I saw the pupper. I was like, oh, and guess what? The pupper is mine. We have a pupper already. Go ahead. Put suggestions for names down in the comments. I'll go ahead and pick out my favorite one. And that's what we're going to name this dude. So yeah, I need names maybe. Do we want to see if we can get lucky again? I doubt we're going to get lucky again. 
Yeah, no, we're not gonna get lucky again. Unfortunate, but we have a pupper now. So yeah, go ahead and drop those names down in the comments. As Spoon said, yes, this is in fact very satisfying. Um, and you might have gotten a little bit of spoilers there, but I will leave that up to you if you wanna go back and watch that little clip. But we have a pupper, we have a pet, and we are gonna make our way with additional thousand blocks to our base. Oh, I think I see the start of the jungle just right there. You can see the big jungle trees and that is letting us know that we've made it. This is super duper exciting. Oh, that's a weird blend. I don't think I've ever actually seen this blend over between biomes, but this jungle is where we are going to be making our home. And I actually think this is one of the rarest biomes right here, the jungle edge. And oh, look, there's ocelots. Maybe we'll end up making a cat farm this season. That is super exciting, but let's go ahead. Pupper, where are you? Where is my pupper? Oh no. All right, I found, I found the pupper. The pupper was just a little bit too far away to teleport. So there goes that little heart attack. Uh, let's not lose the pupper again. So we're actually, let's go ahead. Pupper deserves the best. Pupper gets to go all the way up on this very, very big hill because um, I love this dog and I will do whatever for it. Where, where are you? There you are, come here, come here. We are going to go ahead and just sit you down right up here. Nice and safe, perfect, just like that. And we are all good to go. So actually this area right here, this area-ish is going to be um, the center of the base. Let's go ahead and say hey yo to this person. So this area is going to be the center of the base. And um, unfortunately we aren't going to be keeping the cool look of the jungle because we are going to be putting a giant sphere directly in the middle of it. We are going to be building a sphere based spot area because this looks so incredibly cool. So it's going to go all the way down to bedrock and then it's going to be just a perfect sphere. And we're going to fit all of our farms inside there. So that way we do not have to worry about spawning and stuff like that. And that is going to be kind of our base. And um, I'm going to try my best to make it look pretty nifty, have some cool features to it, but it's not going to be the most visually aesthetically pleasing, but we are going to be doing some crazy insane things. And I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot of live streams where I um, hollow this place out because it's going to be a massive sphere and it's going to take many, many, many episodes to get done. So I'm going to actually go ahead and get some basic stuff set up. Like let's go ahead and get a house in and a place to sleep and a chest for all my things. Maybe we could, we could build a little bed for our pupper. We're going to build a little dog bed for our pupper. And then I'll go ahead and catch y'all up once I'm done with that. Now, I know I said that this part, this series specifically, wouldn't be mostly focused on aesthetics, but you know, it's a starter house. I wanted to try my best. I think it turned out pretty well, but let's go ahead and show you what I have got here. So it's a little jungle house. We have some nice vegetation around. We have, yeah, just lots of little vegetation. We have massive bamboo farms starting right there because we're going to need a lot of bamboo for what's coming up. We have a little bit of a farm back here. I, um, found a composter just floating out in the middle of the woods while I was looking for stuff and I was very confused. It was just kind of floating there. And so I took it. It wasn't like, it was like a dropped item. It wasn't just in the air. It was a dropped item. So that was kind of strange. But if we go ahead and head inside, there's not much room in here, but that's okay. Uh, we have a parrot, which we also need a name for. And we have a little bit of storage. We have crafting table furnace, all that stuff. We have a bed. Our pupper is here. He's got his own little dog bed. And if we head up here, not very much room. We have a little bit more storage and up here we have a crow's nest and we actually have another bird right there. And then we have a bird down in the garden. So we need names for all of those. Go ahead and drop those down in the comments so that way we can get those names ready to go. And of course I will give you credit in the video if you do decide on a name. And don't worry about when we start excavating this area, this house is going to stay. It's probably going to end up on its own little floating island. I do not want to get rid of any of the builds that I make during the season. So yeah, we're going to excavate it because like this is about where the center of our base our mega base is going to be this season and i will basically transform this little area into a its own island so it's going to be a little floating island and it's going to be super duper nifty and i'm very excited to get this project underway all right so right here is directly where the center of our base is going to be at 5500 by 900 so i'm gonna go ahead and mark this spot out just so we know in general where we're gonna have to build things around it because one of the very first things i want to do and i know this sounds a little bit ambitious is i want to do a mob farm we're not gonna build that in this episode we're gonna build that in episode two this current episode we're on is 
we are just kind of working on getting this area set up. So I'm going to go ahead and just mark this spot right here. Let us know that this is the spot that's going to be the direct center of our base. This is what we're going to build our massive um, circular or sphere around. And I am so incredibly excited. Well, I certainly think that this is a big enough marker. We're eventually going to take this layer all the way down to bedrock. This is the starting layer for our big sphere. It's going to be a sphere with a diameter of 128 blocks. So this is the very, very base layer. And you might have noticed a couple things during that time lapse one. I did yes, mess up the circle, but I fixed it during the middle of the time lapse. Don't worry about that. We did get a fair few amount of resources from that as well. So we're not going to struggle for like cobblestone anytime soon. And finally, you may have noticed that all I had to do to sleep was stand on the bed. And that's because we have a couple data packs on the server. Um, and one of the ones that I've been using the most is being able to stand on the bed to sleep. So actually, even though I've used this bed to sleep multiple times, my spawn point is still right over there in my starter house, which I think this is a really nifty feature and should definitely be in the base game of Minecraft, but also lets us sleep when there are multiple players online. Um, and Another one is you might have noticed it, but I might have had a parrot head in my inventory. Shh. I promise no birds were harmed in the making of this video, um, but we do have mob heads on, so occasionally we will get those. Um, but yeah, so this is the start of um, our big, big adventure down building a megasphere. You can see just how close it is to our house. So yeah, we're going to turn this into a cute little floating island. It's definitely going to extend all the way out there. And I am so excited to get this project underway. I am incredibly excited to get this project underway. Um, but for now, uh, we need to finish up this episode. Now, something I want to start doing every episode is I want to go ahead and take a look at what we've done with the RTX on. So I have an RTX 4070 Super in my computer. So I thought it'd be a great idea to go ahead and just look at this house. And yes, there's a parrot head up there um, with RTX on and just see like, it looks gorgeous. I love the RTX and this is a special pack, which I will have a link to down in the description. But I just, I love the way it looks. And inside, I know I don't have much decoration, but it's very, it's very, very orange in here. <laughs> it's extraordinarily orange. But this is what our little starter house looks like with RTX on. And every episode, I'll go ahead and just turn on RTX to show you what we've built. Um, but next, I think we are going to want to build up some basic resources, uh, places to gather resources, such as a mine. Three full exciting things have happened between the last clip and now. First off, let's go ahead and head over here where I have gone ahead and built up a couple just tiny star farms. I'm going to go ahead and add in 
melons and pumpkins and wheat and potatoes right over here but I'm pretty sure that's boring and that isn't something that y'all want to see me do on camera. I just want to let you know so that you know that's happening. And if we head over here and we jump over this bush and then we fall down this hole all the way down, we have reached the mines. And I've done a little bit of mining. I didn't get anything great. I got a single emerald. That's probably the rarest thing I got in here. Did get some redstone, which is gonna be super duper useful for making our own farms coming up, but we're gonna need a lot more than that. And if we go ahead and head all the way up the ladder, I just got my hands on a piece of software that I am very, very excited to use for this. It is a feature that Java players have had as long as they use Optifine for a while. Um, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to tell you about the software, so I'm just gonna say that I have it. But if we go ahead and press here, let's get a good view. If we go ahead and look at the house and we press a specific key, we have the zoom function in Minecraft Bedrock. And this is, extraordinarily exciting. I am so excited to use this in all of my videos. You're gonna probably see me use it quite often because I love that feature and I wish it was in Bedrock, but surprise, now it is in Bedrock. You are gonna be the death of me. These parrots keep making mob noises. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I may have to turn down my mob noises completely, at least passive mobs, because there we go, like baby zombies, they make creeper noises. Those seem to be their favorites, baby zombies and creepers. And it's just, my brain just doesn't work with it. So between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm probably, I'm going to do a heck of a lot more mining, like so much more mining because we need lots of resources because we're a little bit behind. I'm probably going to dig this down to bedrock. No promises. So if I do, you'll get updated on that. And I'm going to collect the resources for our first um, big project that we're going to do. What is that? Oh, that's a cloud. I thought that was like a building out in the sky. Um... Yeah, I got confused there for a second, but I have lots to do in between episodes and I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please be sure to that, that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.